Mm. You can't do a barbecue without a beer. There we go. Yeah, if you like eating ash, then uh, be my guest. But oh, oh dear. That's not a good start. <laughs> We don't waste in it. We don't waste meat in this household, do we, Paula? Oh no! Well, you don't. <sighs> right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another barbecue video. Um, it's been ages. I apologies. My apologies. I apologise, but. Um, Busy with work and uh, yeah, just haven't got around to doing loads more videos this year. So I thought I'd share this one with you. It's about me taking out the charcoal barbecue from being stored outside during the winter months and uh, showing you what I do to clean it, what things you're gonna need and um, yeah, just taking you along for the journey. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, there'll be more barbecue videos coming along and obviously more car videos. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Please leave as many comments as you can. Sit back and relax. Right, now, probably what you're all waiting for, you wanna see how bad it is in there. And I left it dirty last year, so it's not gonna look good. Okay, here we go. It's pretty disgusting, right? So, so we are going to clean it up and uh, make it look like brand new. All right, here we go. A few things you're going to need before you do this because that grill is obviously filthy and uh, if you put that down somewhere nice and tidy it's going to make it really dirty. So what we've got here, we've got, I've laid out a couple of bits of sheets of newspaper. Um, you're going to need some starter blocks an old paintbrush, um, this has done loads of barbecues, um, a chimney to start the briquettes with, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the barbecue up really, really hot and uh, burn off all that rubbish, which you can see inside. So, and then we're gonna use and try this for the first time, nylon uh, spatula. Um, there's been some rumors going around the internet about the wire ones, the wires breaking off and people have, been, have eaten them uh, as part of their food. So I'm hoping this one's gonna be a bit more safe and a bit more reliable. So we'll give that a go. Uh, the manufacturer of this is Sahara, if any of you are interested. Um, so first steps is taking out the old dirty tray and then putting this on the paper. Two papers should be sufficient. Uh, then you're going to need your gloves. Sorry, don't think I put these in the video. You're going to need a pair of old gardening gloves because it is a bit of a dirty job. Basically. You've basically got your, 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 your bottom stand and your heat diffuser. So you put your, your coals on this uh, when you get it when they're all hot. So again, put these over here. This is gonna where you're gonna use your trusty paintbrush. And then you just brush all this old ash into the collection pot. And now you could leave this, but the reason you don't leave it is because when you're cooking, if it gets windy, the ash will pick up and go onto the food. So you really should empty the, the ash from a previous barbecue before you do your next barbecue. Otherwise, yeah, if you like eating ash, then uh, be my guest. But most of us don't, so. Uh... so there we go, and then There we go, Paula. Last year's 
final barbecue. So I'm just going to dispose of this in our green waste bin and you'll join me in a minute setting the barbecue back up. Right, this is empty, all right. Now, to put this back on, and because we want the barbecue to be as hot as possible, i put this back in here. And you see these holes here. We want these to be fully open because we want the barbecue to get as hot as possible. So the air is gonna flow through it and create more heat. And if you, if you do wanna have it a cooler barbecue, then you use these individual notches to open up the windows there. All right, so that's step one, putting that back. Now, next step for this, just for this part, we'll take this out, but this goes back in on the bottom. We will leave that to one side and then now I prefer to use these Weber lighter cubes and some people have commented that you can use newspaper on here and you can, you stuff the newspaper under here and squash it all down and just light the paper but the problem is I found that it's, it smokes a lot if you use paper it really does smoke I mean it works but it's yeah way more smoky use one of these set fire to this and it's much easier okay so we put that in there one thing i forgot matches okay. two seconds here we go right safety matches we're going this and put it over the top like that now it's best what I should have done is put it offset a bit it gives you a bit more room when this is boiling hot to take it out um, but for the sake of the video it's fine yeah and now we leave this going for about 15 minutes until all the coals are hot and they've turned slightly white and then we'll empty them into the barbecue close the barbecue lid put the grill back in and we'll leave it for a good hour to get up to temperature but I'll take you along as we do it. Yeah, I thought while we were waiting for that to uh, to get up to heat, the um, thought I'd just show you around the garden quick. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a beautiful, lovely early summer evening here in the UK. It's quarter to quarter to eight in the evening, and uh, yeah, it's a nice time. So I thought I'd just share it with you. The moon's up there; you can just about see it in the distance. Some of you might remember we've we used to have a big tree down here, but we've had it taken out because it was a bit of a nuisance and it was way too big for the garden. So a huge tree stump there now. Tidied it up a bit down here, and there's one of our cats hiding. Right now, oh, you're hiding on him. Oh, cute cat. Hey, she's a very cute cat. She's very funny. So yeah, a lot of the wood from the tree we've had chopped up and it's currently being stored here. So that's currently drying out and then I've got to split up all of these big chunks. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing me do that, I'll do another video, but let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, so we're about five minutes in to the charcoal heating up and I've made sure that the chimney is super full so we get as much heat going through the barbecue as possible to burn off all this old all this old food you can see on here it's pretty grubby um, yeah normally normally I would I wouldn't cook on this I am going to cook on this tonight but normally I would advise that you just heat this through properly get all the food waste off and then do a fresh barbecue when you actually want to use it but i'm going to cook on it tonight i'm sure it's going to be fine um, and then what i would do also going back a step is once i have heated this up burn all the food off let it cool down um, before i would then do another barbecue the first one i would then coat 
this grill because it is cast iron all in um, the vegetable oil and I generally do that with a little with a little I get pour myself a little tiny little bowl and get a little um, brush pastry brush and just use that to go around in and out of all the bits on, on the grill and uh, yeah that normally does it I mean you, it does last it doesn't last the whole season but you probably have to do it two or three times throughout the barbecue season but typically um, it works all right it stops the grill from being rusty and if you can't be bothered to do that then you can just let it rust and replace it and I think the grills are about 50 quid from Napoleon so not not terrible but but manageable but why why waste it when you can keep it going really quite easily you can't do a barbecue without a beer well I can't okay so about 25 minutes later this is what the coals look like get fairly close Paul you can see just starting to char on the outside they're nice and hot now we'll just do a swap there we go all right so that's what we got and now you pick up the dirty grill Alright, so I'm going to say goodbye for a good half an hour um, and we're going to get this nice and hot. You see the needle is moving. We're going to get this round to about 600. Okay, so we'll come back in about half an hour, hopefully we'll be able to scrape all that food waste off and we'll be ready to cook some food. <clears throat> now, I thought we'd be a little bit different. I don't normally put wood on, but this is part of the tree that we cut down. Uh, what's this, pine tree? Yeah. Oh, pine tree. So we'll see what happens. We put this on, see how well it burns. And we'll just, there we go. Okay, it's been probably, well, it's not, it's been about 15, 20 minutes, but just to show you, we are up to 370 degrees. And then you can see it's starting to slowly burn the old food off. So we'll keep going and uh, join me very, very soon for the final part to this video. Right, it's been about 20 minutes. Hopefully be able to scrape off some of this old burnt on food. It's, it's at maximum temperature, so it's over, over 370 degrees centigrade and over 700 Fahrenheit. So it's quite smoky. Let's see if this new nylon Scraper does the business. You getting that all right, Paula? <laughs> oh. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not a good start. So. I think it's done a good job, apart from the actual metal scraper falling off, <laughs> which is not good for the brand, is it? But nylon brush, it's doing all right. Okay, the wood has started to burn. behind the clouds. Okay now because I haven't oiled 
the barbecue yet. I'm just going to put some uh, oil over the kebabs just so they don't stick to the grill. And just so you know, this is British cold pressed rapeseed oil, uh, which is not genetically modified. So if you want to buy vegetable oil, this is a good one to buy. So just literally get a little bit on your finger. Well, he says a little bit. And just literally coat them. I know most of you people out there know how to do this, but for those of you that don't, then it just stops the food from sticking to the barbecue, which is important if you're a pig like me, because then it means you don't waste any meat. We don't waste any, we don't waste meat in this household, do we, Paula? Oh no, well you don't. Ah. Right, okay, now the good time of the evening. It's got dark, so um, we're about to put these uh, pork uh, kebabs on the barbecue. So let's see what happens, okay. Follow me in, Paul. <laughs> we'll put them on a slightly cooler area. And, uh, now, <clears throat> this might be too hot, so might have to keep turning them um, within a couple of minutes, but um, yeah, so far, so good. Right, everybody, thanks very much for watching. Um, we're now at the end of the video. Um, the food is prepared and cooked, and we're just about to eat it. So, uh, yeah, if you like my content, please subscribe. Uh, there'll be more videos coming throughout the summer, uh, but for now, let's show you the, the kebabs that we're cooking. Okay then everybody, this was the result of me um, burning the uh, all the old food off the uh, grill um, last night for a good couple of hours, left it outside to, uh, to burn away and this is what it looks like. So there we go, I think you can agree that that is a nice clean looking grill and then in the next video coming along i will um the next time i'm going to use this i will cover this in vegetable oil and just show you how i do it what i use and yeah so there we go hope you like it and um hope you found it useful more videos coming your way very soon